there's so much so much stuff craziness happening in Texas. Ah. Uh. Yes. So in Texas, not only do we have that little bit of interesting, I guess, Republican on Republican violence, I guess you'd say, we also have a Republican who is putting forth a bill to prevent people from filming police officers within 25 feet or 100 feet if they are carrying a weapon, if they are carrying with their uh, gun permit or whatever. And this is fascinating because this guy not only made this claim, but when he started getting pushback, tweeted out, hey, if you don't like it, vote me out of office. And Justin Amash retweeted that and said, his constituents, take him up on it. So the point of this bill is not just to prevent, uh, well, okay, the ostensible purpose of this bill is to prevent organizations which are rather aggressive, like Cop Block and others, who tend to become confrontational with police and escalate certain times of confrontations and, and interactions. It's meant to steer that kind of, a, of an altercation from turning bad. What it's done, though, is carve out an exception for news media. And there's a certain uh, list of all the ways all the groups, magazines, newspapers, uh, television stations, it lists who is media and there are a whole bunch of sources, especially bloggers, who are left out of this as well. So um, this has not been received well in Texas. There are plenty of people who have noticed that Rest Representative v Vialba, is his name, hasn't even got another co-sponsor as of the last reading I read on the story. Not even one co-sponsor for this bill. It is not going to pass. There's no groundswell behind it. But it's a move on his part, theoretically, to get police organizations and police-related organizations to support him uh, financially or you know, with their, their unions or whatever. I'm not certain how that's going to play out. But it is going to be very interesting come the fall when filings for the next year's election has happened uh, to find out whether he draws an opponent on the Republican side in the primary. I would imagine so. Is this, I mean, what's the reasoning? Just the safety issue? I mean, are they, po can you point to any stats? Are they posing some sort of a, a serious safety problem? I mean, I do put the safety of the cops number one. Because they should, they put our safety number one. So, but I, I, I don't like the, I don't like the law. It doesn't sound good. Right, it doesn't. And the cops already have plenty of opportunity in a situation to declare that someone is being uh, un uncooperative. They have means to deal with that as it stands. This isn't allowing cops any more rights. It's preventing opportunities for people to record them. The twenty-five foot and the hundred foot limitations on and the, the range by which you have to be separated from them are important. Not everyone's recording information, recording equipment can pick up audio and so you can't really document very well from that distance uh, whether it's 25 feet or 100 feet you know that you lose audio quality. Not only that but if you are at your front door and you have a narrow or a shallow lawn, and the police are arresting someone in your front yard, at your front yard, you couldn't film them, even on your property, even not anywhere near the, the situation itself, but because it came to you, you couldn't do it. It makes very little, if no sense to me. Bloggers are up in arms about it because if there's no protection, there's no exception for people who are blogging. And that just makes it seem like it's specifically targeted for that group, cop block, and others like it. Does, does, does this representative oppose like body cameras that have been talked about? Does he oppose like cameras on the police so that, that so that whenever they have an interaction, it's filmed and people can look at it? Or does he? Or because he, he does he want no cameras at all? Or is he okay with like body cameras? The legislation is silent on police body cameras or anything like that. I think that's separate bills that are being offered, but. Uh, and I haven't seen any of his statements to that effect. As it stands, this bill does nothing to advocate any additional requirements or help to 
the police. It's merely to restrict citizens in their interactions or in documenting. There's been Supreme Court cases where they've heard that people do have the right to film cops. If you are, by the way, in an instance where a cop is coming to ask you questions or, or asking uh, for information from you or comes to you uh, to have a discussion with you, you can't, by this law, you can't record that. You can't record it yourself. That is insane. That's crazy. In America, we love Valjean. Um, we love people who come from hard times, who do good things, who serve people, and things like that, but our justice system is set up like Javert. We have a lot of inflexible laws. For you know, one example might be a possession law. If you get caught with a certain amount of drugs on you, there's a mandatory sentence for this.